Hey, what's going on guys? Today we are going to be um, setting up an outdoor solar setup. Um, this is going to consist of batteries, solar panels, um, Unify equipment for networking. There'll be a camera, access point, point-to-point -point link. Uh, this is going to have a lot of different um, technologies that are all going to be used for one setup here. Uh, it should be pretty cool. Uh, this setup is different than a lot of the other ones I've seen online um, in the sense that this is fully customized. So a lot of the setups you'll see online are using like really expensive adapters um, and this is a lot cheaper as you'll see. Uh, yeah, so let's first of all take a list or a look at our parts list and how much everything costs uh, and then we'll go from there into how it's going to be wired up and then we will actually go wire it up um, outside and set it up. All right, so I started editing this video uh, and I realized it was pretty boring. So basically, I'm just going to do a quick little run through uh, of the solar setup here. So basically, um, the source for our power is going to be our solar panels. Uh, and these are going to go into the solar charge controller uh, onto the input wire there for that. Uh, and then out of that is going to feed into our battery right here. Uh, and that battery is going to keep the system charged overnight during cloudy days, etc. And then our load right here on this um, on the port on the far right is going to feed to things like our converters right there, PV injectors, uh, and all of that stuff that is actually going to power the equipment. Um, so there's a 12 volt system, which is the battery. There's a 24 volt system, which is this converter, which will power the point to point antenna. And there's also a 48 volt system, sorry, 56 volt system uh, that will power the USW flex. And that switch will also power the access point in the camera. So, all right, so I was just editing this part and it was extremely boring and very long. So, uh, let's just do a quick breakdown on this cost right here. So, um, as you can see, these are the point to point antennas, battery, uh, converter, like the PV injector, uh, 24 volt converter, camera that's optional, you don't need the camera, uh, flex switch, uh, 48 or 56 volt converter. Uh, solar panels. I mean everything is relatively cheap. A lot of the stuff like at the bottom here is extra. You don't need that You also don't need two solar panels. You'll be fine with one. You don't need the switch This is all this optional stuff, but I just wanted to show you kind of how much it costs uh, If you're curious about doing the same thing yourself All right, so here's a couple of pictures of me um, putting everything together wiring it up uh, This is outside obviously with the solar panel just starting to test things out It was actually working really well in the Sun even without a battery um, Here's the box that I used for it with the connectors on it for the power that's a power con connector and as you can see i wired up a female to female cable to the other box uh here's the point to point antenna and let's check out the setup outside all right so now we are going to go and actually set this thing up i don't know why i brought this out here actually but basically so we got our battery here we have our um just box of everything else the converters all that kind of stuff in there our antenna ethernet cable uh stand this is temporary until we put a wooden post out here tarp two solar panels uh that should be about all we need the um wires for the panels are all here connected to the box everything's ready to go uh basically we just got to go set it up it's going to go right in here and this will actually have a clear line of sight view to over there where it's going to be shooting okay so we are over here um now we're just going to plug this in and plug that in right there so now our box has power from the battery uh, and we're going to hook up the solar panels now. Solar solar panels. Uh, this is going to wait till a bit later. Uh, and same for this cable. We'll need this tarp sometime soon. Uh, but next one I'm going to set up actually is the stand. Uh, and then we'll do the solar panels after that. All right. So as you can see, we have our point-to-point -point antenna up. Uh, it is not in a specific spot yet. We are still... Um, I'm still waiting until it boots. Uh, and then I can do the uh, antenna calibration. Um, but as you can see, the Ethernet cables there, box is plugged in, everything is receiving power. Uh, so the next step is I'm actually going to take some of these solar panels. I don't know if I'm going to do all of them yet. And I'm just going to literally just set them up here uh, on these pallets that we have. Uh, what I may do is get that pallet to uh, angle these just for now. This is obviously all temporary. I'm just trying to test it out, um, make sure it all works, and then we'll do the final install. All right, so we are back. Uh, I have now connected the wires. Now, obviously... Uh, the colors do not match and that is because um when i was making these solar connectors uh, i custom made them if you cannot tell uh when i was making these solar connectors i actually um didn't know the polarity i guess is the word of them um this one is actually positive on that i put a uh, black wire on it so i just had to reverse it right before it goes in the charge controller but as you can see 
in there. We're at 13.5 volts. It is charging the battery. The battery's happy. Uh, so that is absolutely fantastic. Um, so theoretically, everything is working. I do not have uh, A, an access point, B, a camera, uh, C, anything else besides that right now. Okay, so sorry, the video is a little bit more choppy now. Uh, like I was saying, I do not have anything else connected to the system um, besides the point-to-point -point link. I'm recording at 30 frames per second. It's a lot more glitchy. Um, my phone's about out of storage. But yeah, so that's basically the general setup that I went with. Uh, we have our connectors here. These are the MC4 solar connectors that are connected to these Amazon panels. Um, obviously, they are seeming to work great. So I'm going to close up the box. We're just going to run this for a couple of days, see what happens. Uh, theoretically, it's all good. So we'll find out. I'll post an update. I'll probably not publish this video until like a month later or something. Um, just that way we can see the progress, how it's going. Uh, if you have any questions, leave comments below. But yeah, we'll be back with an update, uh, assuming I remember to record that. Hey, so it's almost a month later um, since that last clip that you just saw. Uh, I did want to show you the one noticeable change in this area is I got rid of the setup over here uh, and I actually found a wooden pole at Lowe's and I was able to put that um, pole up there and it's really nice and sturdy instead of that like uh, tripod thing I had before. So that's that part of the setup. I'm going to now show you, we're going to fast forward into another clip I recorded earlier today um, of us out at the actual solar setup uh, with the completed install. All right, and this is the final setup. Um, it actually turned out pretty nicely. Uh, we got our two panels here. We got an extra battery that I added on. I'll explain that in a second. Uh, and then we got our main box here. So if we open up the box, obviously everything's in there. I added a fan. Here's the main battery in there, uh, as well as the networking equipment, solar charge controller, etc. And we got our camera right over there. Um, so yeah, that's the main um, unit of everything. Uh, and then inside of this box that has bird poop on it uh, is like an extra battery that we can use uh, if we ever want a 12 volt battery for something else uh, we can pull it out really easily and use that for whatever so yeah it's actually working out really nicely right now it's generating seven amps uh of power it's about 12 o'clock right now so the sun's pretty much straight in the air so seven amps is uh is actually pretty nice wires aren't warm and yeah i think it all worked out really nicely haven't had any issues besides um, like the times that I was actually working on it, but it's not bad. Even you probably can't even, you're not gonna be able to see, but we buried the cable that goes over the point to point link uh, and that just pops out here. I had to keystone it, but it worked out really nicely. And even on the back of here, there's jacks and stuff and it looks pretty professional, I would say. So yeah, great setup, worked wonderfully. I would totally do this again. And yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you in the next one.